1712. Because when it comes to buying an annuity, shopping rates and products can save you thousands. Call 800-504-1712. 800-504-1712. 800-504-1712. Brought to you by... National Headlines, Georgia State News and Sports, and the local stories you care about. News Talk 1330 WLBB, Carrollton. Welcome to the Community Voice Program. I'm your host, Luke Lukert. Excited for you to be joining us this Friday. We have a very special guest and and one that I'm particularly excited about because I'm a huge fan. And uh, we are sitting down with Rodman, a comedian right here from Villa Rica and has had a lot of success on the national stage. You may have um, seen him. Probably your your biggest shining moment was uh, NBC's last comic standing. Yeah, Luke, that's gonna be but, my biggest shine. Yeah. yeah, we got some more shine coming, but yeah, yeah. that's right now. That's right that's now, on that's the, the rest. One. That that launched me. Yeah, that that made more people know my name. Exactly. More Not household. only did were you on it, you won it. I did. Yeah, I got some confetti on my head. There yeah, you go. yeah. I want the belt. You know, that was my request. Did, if I win, did they I have a belt. No, they did not have a belt. They, they had a pretty good prize though. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. It changed my life. Yeah, yeah. helped me. Yeah, it was, Let, uh, what, it was it was a, quite a bit of money. But yes, uh, he's best known for Last Comic Standing season eight, where he won it. He's also uh, just been in the world of stand up for what two two decades? Uh, probably? yes, sir, yes, sir. Twenty uh, April was twenty four years. So yeah, and years. I'm still twenty four. <laughs> so that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. I didn't, if you do comedy, you don't age. That's the yeah. beautiful thing about it. Yeah, right out the womb to the stage. Right out the so so twenty four <laughs> for you were twenty four when you left the the womb and and uh, boom, there you go. I already knew my there. gift. God said this 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 kid got a gift. So I've been doing it uh, doing it, man, and, and I love love what I do, and that's that's why. Uh, you know, that's why we're back this weekend to do our second. We call it a Main Street Live two. Uh, we started last year yeah. uh, with with the city city of Villarica, and uh, you know just just letting uh, people express their art. You know, so we have singers, uh, dancers. We got uh, we put jugglers on there, but we've yet to find a juggler. There's not a lot of jugglers in. I should have submitted. West I can juggle. Oh, see, that's what we we've been we've been looking for a juggler. We didn't spell it right on the flyer either. We, did, <laughs> we the, the apostrophe jugglers. So. I don't know, but uh, yeah, man. So it's, it's just a, it's a it's a family event, free to the public, man. We give away a fifteen hundred dollars to the winner, and, mm-hmm. and it's a winner take all type of event. So uh, so uh, second place, who who sec- cares about second place? Not right now. We're not doing like you do the children and, and give participation trophy. We're gonna start that next year. We we talked about that giving participation trophy, but but right now we just want we want uh, one winner. We're looking for the best of the best. So absolutely. So uh, eleven acts will hit the stage uh, six to eight p.m. Uh, at the mill in in Villa Rica, man. Time to so, so we have singers, we have dancers. Uh, do we have any comedians coming on stage? Uh, we do have one comedian this year, and we had one last year. So yes, we have a okay. we have a, a comedian, o- older gentleman named uh, uh, Paul Z- Zakos. So yeah, so Paul will hit the stage, man. We got. Now, are are we got you at all t- threatened that there's another comedian on stage? Uh, not that? at all. I that, I work in with comedians all the time. So yeah, that that is very. Uh, I, and, and 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 comedy is like this, man. You. You have your own laughs. That's what you have to realize as a comedian. You know, it it doesn't matter what somebody did before or after you. Once you get the microphone, you got your own laugh. You take your audience on your own little journey, and that's that's the beautiful thing about comedy. So, uh, never worry about the competition. Do you? And that that brings you um I'll bring us back to your comedy. You definitely take the audience on a journey, and it can be something as mundane. One of my favorite bits that you have is. Just going to uh, like Walgreens and then getting a receipt in that whole entire experience. Yeah, well, yeah, I say CVS, but Walgreens is the same. CVS, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the whole we have to be uh, the member of uh, you getting <laughs> rewards, you know. And I, I say I never get a reward from the CVS. I just get a, a big receipt. That's all I get. A lot, of, lot of paperwork, you know, because it, it's, it's not just what you purchase no more. On your receipt is it's other activities that you oh, yeah. you can get a car wash or you can uh, uh, get coupons for Pantene. Like that's not gonna work on my hat. I can tell you that right now. But not for me either. No, yeah, no, no. no. 
Pantene, no, no, yeah. Pantene. So, so it's all, it's all, it's all kind of stuff. So the mundane stuff. I'm, I'm an observational company. It's just like we, we check ourselves out at the grocery store now. But we, we, nobody has any training to be on register. But we're all, we all little cashiers now. We are all, cashiers yeah. You got to know your fruit codes. So, so tell us a little bit about uh, how you started off in comedy because you, you grew up here in Villa Rica. How, how does one get into stand up comedy from uh, here? One at my time was a. Uh, 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 Uptown Comedy Club in Atlanta. That was my first time uh, hitting the stage, and and I go back uh, where where uh, Deaf Comedy Jam had first premiered, and uh, I I uh, you know you you see you see the before you time to build. Cosby's and the Richard Pryor and the Eddie Murphy's and and all, but that seems far away. But once I seen Def Comedy Jam, seen cats who my age doing doing their thing, I said, "What what they do that at?" And I remember uh, they used to have, uh, and this gonna date me a little bit. They had the yellow pages. They used to come <laughs> on the porch. We'll get these phone books on the porch, and I went through it uh, one one day and found Uptown Comedy Club and went downtown Atlanta and uh, open mic night, signed up. And uh, they didn't pick my name that week. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 I found oh it's a process of this. You don't just you don't just get on stage. So and then I went to the punchline. They had like a lottery that you had to get into. They didn't pick my name that week. So you had to keep going back till they pick your name. And then you get your two minutes on stage. You get your five minutes on stage. You're gonna get booed a few times. You're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna go back. So it, it's it's a process. You learn that oh it's a craft. It's not mm-hmm. pe- it's not just people just getting up there doing anything so so I, I i love it man this is, is what i do yeah and uptown for, for those that don't know is one of the uh harshest environments to do an open mic they, oh it's, it's a rough it's a rough club it's not yeah. it's, it's not it's not easy it's not supportive no 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 you can get booed or you can get shot either one yeah. <laughs> so so yeah so yeah so once you know and and that was my training ground so it's it's, it's no audience i go around and I go all around the country doing uh, what I call that good funny, and uh, I have I have no problem because I started in such rough yeah. environments. Like they used to have a club uh, on Tuesday night called Five Five Nine, and you go in there and they would play music till you get off stage. Get it, get so like shooting sound, like you was getting shot in the club. So it was a it was a good training ground uh, to 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 make me a good stand up that I am today. And and you talk about you know there's a craft to it. A lot of people like yourself get up there, and it just seems like you're just stream of consciousness, just saying whatever pops Some into your head. Yeah, it sounds like that, but it really there's a lot of craft and a lot of um, the decisions good ones. You made. Yeah. yeah, the bad ones it doesn't matter. But yeah, when, once you're good and you've been doing it a while, you you kind of you is a is a each joke leads to another joke. Each mm-hmm. bit leads to another bit. So it's it's kind of it is a flow. Like my style is conversational. I'm just I'm just talking to the people, and then they they go with me, and then we have a good time. But everybody style uh, comedy is kind of like boxing too. It's Styles make fight, styles make comedy. So that's that's what make it uh, uh, good too. And most comedians have um, are definitely influenced by where they grew up and and their family life uh-huh. and uh, the place that they're from. How has Villa Rica influenced you as a comedian? Well, it's, it's, it's the southern thing. It's the uh, it's the uh, the pacing, the uh, the uh, the family, the food, uh, the football. All that, all that, uh, the sports. Like I'm a big sports guy, so so all that. Uh, it it, it uh, uh, it's some it's something about the South that that makes you relatable to everybody. So no matter where I'm going, I'm like somebody cousin. Or I got a cousin like you. Or you remind me of my brother. You like my uncle. So it's 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 a familiarity that the South gives you, and that you that's rooted in you raising. Like you go in somebody's house, you got to speak. You can't just. You can't just come in here. You ain't you ain't spoke to nobody. So so that carries over wherever you go because some places people don't speak to you at all. They don't. Even, you go to New York stuff like that, people ain't hurt. They ain't, yeah. they got time to be bothered with you. But yeah. you know you bring that you bring that humility and uh, it, it carries everywhere you go. And I think people in the South got a certain humility to them. And and I I find that uh, whenever I'm driving, like uh, my girlfriend loves up in D.C. and when I'm driving up there visiting her, I, I like will do the wave, the southern the hand, wave, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, hey, what's yeah. going on? Right, right. They have no idea what I'm right. doing. Right, like even even you driving and I let you in traffic, you know, you can't just ride off without giving me the hand. Yeah. You know, I got the, you know, in the south you're gonna get the hand, but some other places they just ride off and I catch up to them. I say, hey man, <laughs> let me let me get that hand. I, I made that happen. <laughs> so yeah, so I, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a cool thing. The raising process, man. That's that's what I enjoy. 
Well, Rob, man, we're going to be right back in just a little bit. We're going to talk about a uh, a certain cause that uh, really uh, means a lot to you in just a little bit. Rodman is going to be here tomorrow night, Main Street Live in downtown Villa Rica, 6 to 8 p.m. We'll be back to talk with him in just a little bit after some messages from our sponsors, Oak Mountain Academy and Tanner Health System. A well-rounded education includes much more than just academics. At Oak Mountain Academy, we encourage our students to find their niche in any of our 42 co-curricular opportunities. Over the past five years, we have brought home five state and 20 regional athletic titles. Our one-act play and literary teams continuously compete at the region and state level, and our academic teams bring home first place more than not. We are warriors creating legacies. To learn more, visit oakmountain.us. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. Welcome back to the Community Voice Program. I'm your host, Luke Lukert, sitting down with a very funny guy, Rod Mann. He is a, a comedian right here from Villa Rica, Georgia. He is the season eight winner of Last Comic Standing on NBC. And uh, you got to work with a, a lot of great comedians. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But first, uh, there is a, uh, a, a cause that you are really passionate about, and that is the Huntington's Disease Society of America. Tell us a little bit about that and why it's so important to you. Well, the uh, Huntington's disease is a, is a disease that uh, uh, runs in my family, my mom, and I got a, a couple of aunts who uh, it affects. And it's a, it's, a, it's a brain disease that slowly kills your brain cells, and it also affects your, your, your memory and your moods, uh, your movement. So, you know, like my mom is real herky-jerky, and uh, she can have different mood swings, but that's that's the disease. And, and we just found out like three, four years ago that that's what it was because it was misdiagnosed for years as different mm-hmm. things. So it's like having ALS, Parkinson, and Alzheimer's combined. Wow. So so uh, I was the uh, keynote speaker this year at a uh, at uh, the researchers convention up in Palm Springs, California. So so uh, I'm learning more about it, and as I learn more about it, I'm I'm able. So I just want to bring awareness to it. It's, it's one of those diseases that is rare. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of people don't have it, so uh, it's just bringing awareness. And I have the uh, uh, guy from New York down tomorrow, uh, Jameson, uh, and uh, he'll 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 speak to to uh, it more and how how it affects people. But it, it's just it's a, it's just a, it's a debilitating disease, and it, it and it's a slow slow process. And you, and you can just see uh, how your loved one uh, uh, slowly becomes a person that you don't recognize. Mm-hmm. So, so, and, and it's caretaker, like my sister take care of my mom more. So it's, so it's also like we learned when I did the research thing is, is, is more about, uh, people who take care of people who, who have, uh, sickness and not, not just Huntington disease or any, any disease because the caretaker lives change too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they, they have to, uh, uh, uh reposition their lives. So, so it, it's, it's about just, uh, bringing, bringing, bringing awareness to, to, to the disease and, uh, letting people, p- people know it's out there and, and, and sometimes it be misdiagnosed. It's cerebral palsy or something else and 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 you may have a loved one who who is in your family you don't know so so it's just it's 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 a it's a it's a charity that that uh, i'm passionate about i'm learning more i'm i'm actually and we we're, we're raising money so we're actually looking for don- donation and i'm gonna run 
uh, my second marathon this year in to raise money and funds for for Huntington's disease in New York, uh, November. Now I did one in L.A. early this year. Still, yeah, I was an athlete in school, but <laughs> I went to another level. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I so uh so it, 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 and and you attach a cause to it, it, it really uh, uh uh brings it home. But yeah, so I did twenty six point two in Los Angeles, but I'm gonna do twenty six point two uh uh in new york and i, I need y'all to uh go on my website there's a link on my website rodmancomedy.com and you can go and uh make a donation to the hunting disease society of america and uh you know we're, we're raising raising money because it, it, it takes takes fun to fight all these diseases man so uh so go do that for me and uh and uh, support me on the marathon we'll, we'll give you more information as it get closer man but we're gonna we're gonna need to uh uh really really make that hot absolutely and and what is the outlook on uh, you know finding a cure for Huntington's disease in the future? Uh, when I was at the uh, uh, convention, they they said we're getting closer. Yeah. So that you know they they, they had to test the the, the, the rats and the, the mice and all <laughs> yeah and all that. So it, it's 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 a lot of science yeah. involved in it, you know. But uh, uh, they say we we getting closer. So uh, imagine so. it's hard to diagnose a rat with it, a Huntington's. Disease. Yeah. So yeah. So when they get in all that talk, I'm like, okay, yeah, we because we always test it animals on yeah. the animals first yeah. so yeah but i like that's not a person but i i get it i get it so yeah man so uh so uh uh prayers man Ho- hopefully hopefully we we get closer uh, because my mom in the early stages so mm-hmm. but i i met some people who who've lost loved ones and uh and uh they they loved ones are, are, are more and i got some aunts who who are uh, in nursing homes now so uh we definitely need to find a cure absolutely and that is a uh, rodmancomedy.com He's got a link to uh, HD Society, Huntington's yes, sir. Society, and uh, a little video that also talks about your experience with it. So uh, go check that out. And uh, sponsor Rod Man for his next marathon in November. November, yeah, New yeah, New York Marathon. So it's going to be cold. So I don't know. I'm going to wear some long johns. Yeah, I don't know. It's but very different than L.A., I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L.A. was like from the uh, uh, Dodgers Stadium okay. to the beach in Santa Monica. So that's a lovely. It was, yeah, it was a, a nice view. Run. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah and I, and that was my first one because I, I start and actually I started my first run here. We did the uh, when they gave me the key to the city uh, in Villarica. They had a five k. What's what's that they call? Go rush run. So that was oh, my yeah. first five k, and I, I seen a little girl and she couldn't be no more than about five, and she was just getting it. I was like, whoa. They doing it like that, so uh, I said I got I got to get my run on. So I did a uh, five, and then I did two halves, then I did the uh, so, full. So you're saying that you running a marathon was so you could beat a little girl? In my mind, I'm beating that little girl who was so <laughs> fast that day. She was so fast. I don't know who child she is, but she definitely go run cross country. I can yeah, tell you that for sure. She's yeah, uh, yeah she's, she's on her way to the Olympics. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's on her way to the Olympics. Yeah. All right, and uh, you you mentioned Def Jam comedy, and I, I always like to know. Uh, what comedians inspired you and influenced you uh, when you're starting out? I mean, uh, comedy is, is a weird thing. People ask me this question all the time: who who influenced you? And, and uh, like, I'm a fan of comedy, so I, I like a lot of the Bernie Max and the uh, Chris Tucker was was hot when I was when I was coming up, and uh, and I like a little Seinfeld, little Carlin, little. So my comedy taste Gaffigan. So my comedy taste goes all, all across the board. But I think your biggest influence in comedy is just your family and your mm-hmm. environment and people around you. Those are the characters that you know. So I, I know the wine know at the stove. I know you know. I know I know uh, uh, the old man. Or I know uh, uh, the 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 black mama because I got the black mama. So. So yeah, so it's those different people who who influence you, uh, your brothers and your sisters, the different different things they do. So I try to try to come come from that angle. So when you were growing up, who were the one? Who was the uh, person you were cutting up with and making jokes with? Uh, my my cousin Tony was it was the, the he, he was he he declared himself the funniest in the family. So that's yeah. So 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 and I always I think say you have a belt now to right. Play so that, that's right? what I'm saying. And and I always say uh, you can have the barbecues, you can have the living room funny. It's it's because it's stage funny and barbecue funny, living room funny, two different funnies. Oh yeah. So yeah. So I it, it always and I notice now since I do comedy, everybody wants to be funny when I come around. So everybody got a funny story to tell me. Let me tell you this, right? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. So so it, it, it's a beautiful thing to see when when everybody want to tell me something funny. Uh, and then they always say you can use that. Yeah. You can use that. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. I was just, that, that's gonna take me to the top right there. That, that was the bit I was missing right there. Yeah, that story right there. I've got a great joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't, but don't be telling a joke. They'll say that too. Don't don't be telling a joke. 
But you're like, they really want you to tell their joke. Please tell my joke. And is the most annoying thing when uh, somebody hears that you're a comedian and they're like, oh, yeah, just uh, tell me a joke. Oh, that's the worst thing. Comedians hate to uh, hear that at a, at a high level. Yeah, because y- you wouldn't work at McDonald's or anything else. Like, okay, you got some fries on you? Yeah, so it's just, it's, just, it's just one of those careers that people feel like, hey, uh, be funny. Or, I hate when somebody say, be funny. What is, what is that? What is be funny? You should charge them. Well, just, I, just I anytime do, they, they, they want, like <laughs> yeah, a joke, like okay, yeah, it's five bucks. Yeah, I'll yeah, give yeah. You a joke they right you look, yeah. But I, I would say, if you hang with me long enough, you are gonna laugh throughout the day. So don't, don't worry about that. We are sitting down with Rodman, who will be here Main Street Live uh, in Villarica at um, downtown Villarica at the Mill Amphitheater from six to eight p.m. Saturday. It's uh, gonna be a really fun. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the acts coming, mm-hmm. uh, and that you're gonna. You're gonna be judging, I guess. Are, are well, no, judge? I'm not the judge. You're no, not the we judge. have Jury we have a no, no, we have a panel of judges, well respected, renowned judges in the community. So they they judged last year. Last year we had a uh, young lady from uh, I think Dallas, Georgia, was mm-hmm. was a uh, opera singer, 17 oh. years old, a uh, uh, Vonnie Sykes, and uh, killed it. So and 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 when you look at the audience, the audience make up. And and you look around, it's, it's everybody all ages. Oh, yeah. And when she came out there and just blew it away, people probably hadn't even never heard no opera. But they was like, I know, I know good when I see it. I yeah. know good when I see it because she was she was that that good. I, what are you talking? There's a a great opera community right here in Villa. <laughs> Well, I missed that part, Luke. I, yeah, yeah. Thriving opera Thriving community. Opera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paparazzi is right around the corner. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is 851. We'll be right back with Rodman in just a little bit after a message from Oak Mountain Academy and Tanner Health System. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient every time is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. At Oak Mountain Academy, our daily schedule includes convocation, prayer, and the Pledge of Allegiance. By doing so, we build a family-like community where all students grow and flourish and personal faith is encouraged. Through community service and a historical approach to biblical study, our students are taught the value of the warrior way, honesty, respect, and responsibility. Oak Mountain Academy, we are a family creating legacies. To learn more, visit oakmountain.us. Welcome back to the Community Voice Program. I'm your host, Luke Luker. We are sitting down with a very funny guy named Rodman. Very funny man named Rodman. Yeah. What, is man your last name? No, Thompson's no. my last name. Rodman's stage name. Is, that's my superhero name. I'm like a superhero <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Rodman. Yeah, yeah and, Rodman. And you got some merch you're, that you're wearing right now. Yes, Will that, that be available tomorrow? Uh, no, this is actually the demo. But uh, since you keep commenting on it, I know it's ready for market. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, it so is. I, yeah, this is the new Rodman logo. So It yeah. is awesome. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you. Speaking of tomorrow, we have a, a great event coming up in Villarica Main Street Live. It's going to be from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Mill Amphitheater in Villarica. 11 acts are taking the stage. Tell us about some of the things that we're going to see tomorrow. Uh, t- uh, tomorrow, you will see uh, singing. We got we got a, a, a couple of things. So if you like singer, songwriter type music, we got that. We got comedy. We got a, a tap dancer. We we got a we got a guy who is a flamethrower. Little sixteen year old guy, uh, flamethrower. See how you looking? See how you looking? Yeah, yeah, Luke. Yeah, he's a flamethrower. If you have never seen it before, and we had in the room, no he pyro. Like spitfire. Uh, 
I, he didn't do it on the video, but I only you only get a minute and a half on the video. But he was yeah. flipping over the flames, and uh, you know, so he's he he's gonna be cold with it. He's one of my dark horse candidates that that can shock the people. And uh, we we got some hip hop. We got young 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 hip hop. We got some uh, actually some some spiritual hip hop too. So mm. it's gonna be two versions of hip hop you'll see tomorrow. And uh, and uh, just just a, just a fun day. And I do a look. You know, I do what I do at the top. And uh, you know we get re raffle. We we give away some prizes for the audience, and we got vendors gonna have some food, so you can go up and down the street get you some food, cakes, hot dogs, nachos, all, all that it's good stuff. It's gonna be stuff. a rocking event, is what it, you're telling it, me. It, it, that's what we. Uh, that's our goal, Luke, to make it rock, and for you can go home and talk about it. And say, hey, I wish I, I can't wait till they do that again. Yeah, and I, I loved Rod Man so much that I have to go see him. You've got some uh, new dates coming out uh, right here in the state of Georgia, and, and neighbors uh, tell us about them. Well, just at just at uh, Chattanooga, uh, I'll be there the weekend of uh, August sixteenth through the uh, say August fifteenth through the seventeenth. Uh, I'll be down in Chattanooga. So if you neighbor right down down by Rome or, or close right down seventy five, going over to Chattanooga, and just added just added this yesterday, uh, August eighteenth on a Sunday night. Two shows. I'm gonna be at the Atlantic Comedy Theater just for one night, seven and nine thirty. Two shows, one night, Sunday night, August eighteenth. Just add it right there. Okay. Atlantic the, Comedy Theater in North Cross. Yeah, not yeah. not too far at all. A, a yeah. really pretty good room. Right, too. and it's a good room. And I'm and I'm working on my special man. So I'm I'm just I'm just you know uh, 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 getting my chops. You know, sharper than my knives. So it, those shows like that, when you come see me one nights, you get the good stuff. And let's plug your comedy album because you also have a comedy album out. I got the company album on my website. You can get a that good funny volume one, the classics. But I got a I got a new one we working on that we taped in uh, Arlington, Texas. Uh, be coming down the pipe probably probably September uh, around that area. That's gonna be real nice and crisp for you, and it'll be available on uh, all the platforms and as well as my website too. Awesome. And uh, one thing before we go, I I just always find it fascinating with comedians because with comedians. There's nothing that can't be funny. There's no subject that can't be funny. Yes. You can always make yes. something funny. Yes. But, you know, in this day and age, and you see a lot of comedians talk about how they don't want to go to colleges because uh -huh. Uh -huh. there are people who well, are like, oh, you can't joke about that. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, comedy, you have to let comedy uh, breathe and you have to let it grow. And But we live in a society where we got these phones and, and people, uh, everybody got an opinion about everything. So so comedy has gotten caught up in that. But I'm, I'm from the uh, old school of comedy that uh, you say uh, what you need to say long as you can make it funny because no oh, yeah. no no comedian is not trying to be funny even if you say something that's that's right on line the goal is to be funny so if it's not funny then we you you can have some criticism fair or unfair but as as, as a comedian me uh there's no subject matter that that i won't touch if i can find some funny in it mm -hmm. that might be too soon Sometimes it's too soon, and they say, "Hey, pull back! Don't don't say that, Rod." Yeah, just, yeah. I'll <laughs> yeah. save that for next yeah, year. Save that for next year. It ain't time yet. So I've I've had those moments, but but for as a, as an artist and uh, as a comedian, as a craftsman, you got to you got to do your thing. So people people have to you know people have to let let comedy breathe. And at comedy clubs, you usually see people. They're they're not offended by whatever they they're fine with whatever you say. I mean, you never. Well, I'm at the level now where people actually uh, invested in me, so they come to see yeah that good funny. They come see right man, so they already know pretty much. So they trust my funny. I call it you, you trust my funny now, but I I, I can still go on an island sometimes. Like where are you going tonight? So <laughs> you can have those nights. But yeah, as, as you coming up. You always it, it's always going to be uh, people that don't know what you do, so it, 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 it's 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 a mystery at any time. Yeah, yeah. Well, Rod, man, thank you for being on. We're going to plug the event one more time. It's going to be at Main Street Live this Saturday, six eight p.m. at the Mill Amphitheater. Yes, and we're going to see some awesome talent, right? Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. So get there. Uh, we're going to start on time, six to eight p.m. Man, a lot of talent uh, and a lot of youth. So uh, support your youth, and uh, and uh, we we're going to uh, make this. Annual event, man. We just we just growing and we building it. So so excitement is in the air. Get yourself there. It is going to be an awesome event, and it's totally. Don't want the, you know if you scared it's gonna rain or you gonna be too hot. We got some boots. Uh, we got some uh, canopies that you can sit up on. But but uh, uh, the rest of it is free, man. So bring your bring your children. And everything is 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 good good family show, man. Absolutely. Well, Rob, man, thank you for joining us here on the Community Voice. I have no doubt that it's going to be a hilarious, awesome event right here in Villa Rica. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be back next week with another edition of Community Voice on Monday 
830 Sharp. Have a great weekend.